Now the high speed chase that has left one person dead. The drama started in Van Buren Township. Eventually, state troopers shooting and killing the driver. A Priya man is at the scene. So Priya, how did this all start? Well, Karen, it started in Taylor, ended here in Van Buren. Now, it's important to note that state police say this driver pointed a gun at them. Let me give you a live look at the scene right now. They have not yet recovered that weapon. Let me walk you through what happened. This police chase started at around 1248 in Taylor when the driver was pulled over for a seatbelt violation. He said he uh, did not have to pull over, did not have to obey their orders. A police officer then smashed open the window and he took off on a high speed chase, uh, speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour on the freeway. He took westbound 94 to northbound 275, finally got off where speeds exceeded 70 miles per hour on side streets. Now one trooper did try to pull a pit maneuver to stop this man. Uh, the driver kept going. That trooper was injured. He has a broken hand and the second pit maneuver happened here at the lower Huron Metro Park and that's where troopers say the driver jumped out of his vehicle and then ran into the woods and troopers saying he then pointed a gun at officers and those officers did shoot and then kill the man. That man was taken from here in critical condition and has died uh, in the hospital and those two troopers have 12 and 8 years on the force. So again, a driver who refused to pull over and then led police on a high speed car chase has now died. State police are investigating and we'll continue to update you with the very latest information. Reporting live from Van Buren Township, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. All right.